still working on uh, my granddaughter clock. Uh, I have it taken away. As you can see, the Virgin uh, Crutch Assembly is going back and forth. Uh, however, when I wind it, you hear that? The um, spring is slipping off of the the catch so you can't get a full wind out of it as you can see the spring is not fully wound up so I have to take it all back apart and figure it out and so uh, you know a lot of people complain a lot about people working on their clocks and them charging money and uh, uh, the money they charge them to fix a clock and so my point here is somebody brings a clock in they say Shine side's not working. You give it a few clicks, winds, chime side's not working. So uh, you take it apart, you fix the chime side, and then you put it all back together and you go to test it. And, you know, I got about four winds, maybe five winds before. It started slipping and so if the customer doesn't say my time side is not working and you don't test it and I did not test it and it's been years since I worked on this clock I bought it in 1999 and I never fully repaired it it's one of those projects that i sat to the side and told myself i'll get to it when i get to it well life catches up with you and i bought it in 1999 it's 2022 you know 23 years later I'm getting to it. That is why I don't work on people's clocks for a living. Because I'm extremely slow. That is why I take pictures. Uh, every time I work on a clock, uh, I posted a video maybe a month ago on starting this clock. A month later, I'm getting back to it. And um, I refer to my pictures. As you can see, I have several projects that I'm working on. And these are my just my clocks. And if I was to work on a customer's clock, I'm not a very organized person. Um, and so, no, I don't want to work on people's clocks for a living I do occasionally work on a friend's clock or work on somebody's clock that my daughter asked me to work on or a friend asked me to work on yeah I, I, I do occasionally work on other people's clocks but no I don't want to do it for a living I want to get my clocks going like I said, I'm not going to be around forever. And a working clock for my children sells better than a clock they know nothing about. But my point is, I have to take the clock back apart, let down the power, take the clock back apart, take the spring out of this barrel, 
and figure out why it's not catching all the time. So, yes, sometimes working on a clock takes time. And um, um, if you care about your clocks, you will be willing to pay somebody to repair your clock. I have repaired clocks in the past for money. And um, um, if I were to add up my time, I get less than minimum wage. And so um, uh, sometimes a clock repairman doesn't get paid minimum wage when he's working on, or a clock repair woman, I'm sorry, doesn't re get, re get paid minimum wage but they charge you what they feel comfortably charging you. You should um, uh, accept what they charge you because sometimes diagnosing um, uh, clocks can take some time to figure out what's going on because they want them to uh, work properly when they leave their shop. Again, please hit the subscribe button. God bless.